Who among us has used WebSync before? Okay, wow, almost everybody, almost everybody here. Okay, great. So then I'm just gonna, you know, uh, show show a little bit of the basics. Also gonna show just some of our new features that might be helpful for you in this hackathon. So first off, I mean, you can just put in any prompt, like you can say, make me a chat app, or you could do like chat.app, right? Either of those are gonna work. You'll see that I held down command and press enter, and it opened in a new tab. Oh. So now you can generate multiple versions of the same page, and that can often be useful to just get better outputs. One of the five would be good, or one of the three. You know, usually three is kind of like all you really need. Okay, great. Uh, let's just say start the chat. Yeah, uh, start the chat app. Give me the screen. <laughs> Make it better. Who's Alice? <laughs> Who's Alice? Oh, uh, I met her. I didn't know how I met her on WhatsApp. She was DMing. Ooh. Playing a chat across different platforms with Charlie and Facebook. Oh, wow. Good chat. Wow. I want this. I want chat aggregator. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in. And so right now, the way that this would work is like, I might say like, uh, not yet, but I'm excited to give it a try. Uh, let's try it now. Talk back in Spanish. Because it says it, it'll do the AI translation, but you'll see right now it's not working. It's just doing like pre-generated um, stuff. So now I'm gonna show you a new feature. Uh, that we've got that will make this work a little bit better. I'm going to say make this HTMX and use API slash chat. Uh, and I'm just going to generate a couple tabs because this might be a little tricky. We'll see. But what's happening here, uh, Sean, actually, do you want to explain? So what this does is it rewires your application uh, to use HTMX, which is some framework for swapping out elements. So we have a, we have an API backend at API chat. Actually, any, any API yeah. endpoint actually works. We just hallucinate requests. Um, we send the entire page HTML, and then we just respond back with um, some HTML to swap. Uh, I, I think the demo will basically speak for itself. Oh, yeah, it's responding. Oh, 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 it's oh, so Puedes... Cambiar... El estilo y los colores. I'm just asking to change the style and colors. Uh, de esta página en total. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's great. Give me an animated SVG of an avocado. Yeah. Okay, sure. Or I'm going to say it in Spanish. Aguacate. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so so that's one of our that's one of our new features, uh, and you can use it in lots of different ways. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some other stuff. I'm gonna try to make a tarot card uh, picker. So I'll like pick a card, and it'll give me back tarot for SVG uh, with SVG. Uh, I'm going to start by finding one of my better pages. So I'm just gonna search uh, Dracula's. Uh, favorite artworks, pair with Kat Linger. So Kat and I combined some of our context um, into a prompt that, that pulled this up. This is Dracula's favorite artworks. It's got great SVG. And I'm going to tell it, to tell it, I just, what you just saw there actually was I just removed uh, those other pages that were there before because they're just not necessary to what I'm trying to do right now. Add a button to pull up a new artwork within a card 
mirroring the style of the others with API slash artwork. Okay, let, let's see how that works out. And here what's happening is it's kind of like imagining what an API request for artwork would look like. <laughs> um, you know, and so it's gonna pull back that like structured data that should work just like in here um, with the styles that have been defined elsewhere on the page. Well, I mean, these are all kind of like similar to each other. Like, Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so how should I prompt this, John? <coughs> Um, just modify it with, before with API artwork, just use HTMX, or yeah, maybe just say use HTMX. Uh, use HTMX. Just try that. Yeah. So Sean, can you just describe what exactly that changes by like, me adding that prompt to use? Well, before it was returning JSON, um, which is, I mean, if we're trying to see visuals, generally you want, you want to return HTML. It makes less of a complicated page mm -hmm. for the AI to generate, so it's good. It oh, is able to do more in the small spaces. That's that's really cool. Cool. Yeah, is that like an iframe? Or? No, I think it's it was just a. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite. <laughs> I like take a break. It's, it's like a full. Yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's a full page. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if we can maybe just like trust that I could That's massage cool. this <laughs> to, <laughs> to work. The surprise is part of it. Uh, I have one here that does work. Uh, cosmic Tarot Realm and Summon Cosmic Card. So how is this one made? How is this one made? So here's the prompts. The, the, the first is use <laughs> HTMX to create a new tarot card generator uh, using API slash new card. And then I said, make the SVG cooler. <laughs> and then I said, make the SVG even cooler. That, that was like the third prompt. Um, and like, like the, the, the actual functionality of this all happened within one prompt. I just wanted it to be a lot prettier because I know Claude can do a really good job with SVG. Yeah, good job Claude. Is really cool. And then here what I could do too, uh, this is one more feature I want to show off before we get started, is uh, you can uh, combine, uh, you can compose your context a little bit better now. It used to be the case that it was just the previous four pages in your history, that was your context that was going into whatever prompt that you put in for the next page. But now what we can do, I'm going to just open this, like you'll see here I've got uh, this monstrous compendium and then I can drag that in uh, the monsters fight. and wait, wait, uh, I'll show the monsters fighting, let me just do this first uh, and then I can say do this all in HTMX like the other page <laughs> and add a button to create a new monster card with slash api slash compendium monster uh, and hopefully what this will do is it means that it's seen a working implementation of what i want in this other page in this cosmic tarot deck it's seen a working implementation knows what works and then i've got this page that has amazing svg i love it i think it's really nice and it should be able to combine that knowledge. Uh, and then while this is going, I guess I can just go ahead and try making them fight. What did you want? Oh, just yeah. make them fight like Pokemon style. Make the monsters fight Pokemon style. I want to play a game. And, and like, so this is, I mean, at a high level, this is just how you can like nest clawed calls within pages, right? without like generating a new thing. Uh, it might work with GPT-40. I haven't tested this like at all with it, but. Uh, you can always use this cloud on the back end for the, for the slash the API slash. Mm -hmm. Oh, like if the user puts that slash API in, it just yeah, assumes it's that it's like a cloud thing. Okay, great. If you say <laughs> use slash API, which can be slash anything. It's, it's just whatever name you pick can also kind of give it a hint as to what it's supposed to do. 
but that always uses uh, Sonic. Okay, cool. Let's see. <laughs> They're trying to fight uh, Time Blast. No? Okay. Uh, Paradox Surge. So the problem here is I really wish that it used the SVG. So I'm going to tell it to. Use the SVG you have for each of these monsters. No, no, no pixel art. No pixel art, please. Anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question about the API. Like, you can put in your own page and then refer, call that an API and then refer to that page in the context. Is that what you did? You put in, like, you had two pages in, in, in the context. That was just the influence. That was, what? that was just the influence. Just the influence. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually call. Yeah. And that's something else that you might want to know maybe for it is like, uh, if if I jump if if I'm like in I don't know Rudy's boom boom room and uh, and I'm making and I'm like chatting with it and it's using this to do the chat in line, but then I go to another page, it's not gonna know anything about what the chat was, right? Because right? that was all kind of like self-contained right there. It's not the same as like comedy. Yes, yeah, so it looks like it, it it did a decent job. Nice. Continue. So you can't like freeze a page with like nested conclusions within it and then like loom over that or like generate on top of it? Yep. Uh, you yeah, think, not yet. What, what do you mean you say nested conclusions? Like the thing that Rob was doing where you, he was like talking to like within the, the chat. Yeah. It's only going to see the original. Correct. Uh, so if you reloaded the window, all of the new tarot cards would disappear and you have to create them again. But then you get them every time. Interesting. Right. It seems like you should only do the nested feature once you have a page you're really happy with. Because otherwise you're going to lose the nesting. Mm -hmm. if, yeah, maybe in the future we'll like, save the nesting. Yeah. Freeze? Yeah, freeze. Just freeze, 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 the freeze the state. Yeah, freeze and, the that state become, and then that, that becomes the context for Actually. the next prompt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Coming soon. <laughs> Paradox series. I appreciate yeah. the dark mode. Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. Dark mode. Shout out. <laughs> dark mode. <laughs> If anyone has any more questions, show the edit feature. Oh, right, 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 right. Good point. Let's say, let me try doing that here. I'm going to say edit, change, font, and color. And it just edited that. And it's super fast because <laughs> it's just for edits. You could probably achieve the same with uh, a full text prompt, but. The benefit of this is how fast it comes back on a round trip. Does that mean it has to regenerate less of the Yeah, it only regenerates the piece you asked for. And Sean, does it maybe it. have the capacity to regenerate some other things that are related yeah. to it? Yeah, it's so smart. It tries to be smart. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to say edit, make SVG even cooler. <laughs> <laughs> That'll take a little bit longer. Yeah, this one will take a little bit longer because SVG is big. But um, when you edit the, if you click on, say, like the background where it ends up selecting the entire page, then it will take as long as generating a new page. Um, so the smaller of a piece you click on when you edit, the faster it will be. There you go. Made it cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good job, Claude. That's good. <laughs>